Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lala Day. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I wash my mini twist. And I also added a little bonus of showing you guys how I moisturize my mini twist and how to eliminate frizz. Let's go ahead and get started, y'all. So I've had these twists in for about a week and a half now. And since we are in quarantine, I really want to take advantage of this time to allow my hair to grow and flourish. And mini twist is one of the best options to retain length. And as y'all can see, I have my hair in sections. I haven't really touched it that much. And it's about time for a wash. So the first thing that I like to do is to pre-poo, which is pre-shampoo. And I do that by conditioning my hair with the Aussie Moist Conditioner. See, before, when I was first natural, I never found the importance of pre-pooing. I always thought, yo, this is a waste of product. It's a waste of time. No, I'm not doing it. Let me just wash my hair and get it done and over with. But it is important to pre-poo before you shampoo because what I noticed with my hair from experience, after I shampoo and rinse it out, my hair is still soft and moisturized. So I really make sure that I put a lot of product on there. I really want my hair to be soaked and drenched with this product. And as y'all can see, my hair like reverted really quickly and drank all that conditioner up. And y'all can see there's like movement now. <laughs> so yeah. I cover my hair with a plastic bag and allow the heat and the steam to really penetrate my strands. And I let this sit on my hair for about 10 to 15 to 20 minutes before I rinse it out. Y'all, excuse the steam on the lens. It was, it was kind of hard to keep that under control, but anyway. The shampoos that I'll be using today is the Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Cleansing Cream Shampoo. And it says it's sulfate free, but guys, it's very stripping. So if it can strip like that with sulfate free, all right, okay, I see y'all. And also the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Wash. I like to mix these two together. The Blueberry Bliss, the Curls product, it's very moisturizing. So I like to pair these two together so it can kind of be moisturizing and cleansing at the same time. Y'all get me? And when I shampoo, I actually shampoo my hair twice. The first time I use both those products. The second time I only use the Blueberry Bliss product because I want to still get my hair clean but moisturized from the stripping of the Cantu. As y'all can see, the second time around, the shampoo really lathers up very good. And I also like to really focus on my roots. And now on to conditioning. This product right here, y'all, the Three Minute Miracle by Aussie Moist, it is so good. Every type four natural should have this and try it out and see how it works for you. It's so good, I love it. It makes my hair feel so soft. The slip is amazing and my curls just pop. And as y'all can see, unfortunately, I ran out. So I went ahead and used the conditioner that I used in the beginning of this video. So as of right now, I don't have a deep conditioner. So what I do is just leave the conditioner in my hair for a few hours. And if you guys could suggest any deep conditioners that you like that are good for type for hair, let me know down below. I would really appreciate it.
So after I deep condition my hair, I rinse it out, but I do not like to rinse all of the conditioner out. I like to leave about 25% still in my hair. So now that we're done washing, on to moisturizing. In my previous video, I showed you guys my moisture routine and how I keep my hair moisturized for days. I really went in depth with the products that I use and how I apply these products. So right after this video, go check it out. So the fact that I just hopped out the shower and my hair is still drenched and soaked, I don't need to add any more water to my hair. I'm gonna go straight into adding my cream, which is the Cantu leave-in conditioner. And then I'm going to apply oil to my scalp and the oil that I use is the black castor oil and the wild growth oil. I go ahead and mix that together and apply that to my scalp. And what I use for my strands is Blue Magic. Y'all don't sleep on Blue Magic now. This stuff right here is what I believe helping my hair grow, which I'm so excited for. So yes, I put that on my strands and I also mix that with the black castor oil and the wild growth oil. All right, so now that we know the products that I use, I'm gonna be showing you guys the technique into eliminating frizz. See, this back section is not really prone to too much frizz and it's the back of my head, so I'm not really worried about that section. Now we're onto the front of my hair. So what I like to do is to really squeeze, instead of like pulling the product through, I would squeeze the product into my hair and really allowing my strands to soak in the product. I go ahead and add the oil to my scalp and when I get to the Blue Magic, now this part is very important. The Blue Magic is kind of thick and it kind of mimics shea butter in a way. So what it does for me, it really clumps my curls together. So I really focus on my ends and the actual strand of my hair. So the whole twist, I would curl around my finger. I'll make sure I clump my ends together so it can be defined and neat. And I really like to take my time with this. And the before and after is a big difference. So if y'all know me, I'm the type of person that does not like to waste time. Even though I'm patient, you know, time is precious. I don't play with time. So what I did was put all my products in this whole entire half section. And then I went back in to really define my curls and to make all my twists neat. And this is my end result, you guys. My hair is so shiny and so moisturized. I am really excited for this journey that I'm on to really retain length and to really grow my hair. And I'm excited that you guys are on this journey with me. And speaking of y'all, thank you guys so much for supporting me, for subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, sharing my video out. I really, really, really appreciate every single one of you guys. We are ending this video off with me wrapping up my hair, pushing my edges back, pressing them down, and allowing all that moisture to really soak in my hair. 
If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And share this video out with anyone you feel would benefit from it. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.